So the other day in class, one of my students stopped and asked me, Miss Keisha, is there a difference between acetone and nail polish remover? Actually, there's no difference between acetone and nail polish remover. And if you check out the bottles, one will say pure acetone and the other will say non-acetone because chemically they are both actually the same thing, minus some extra ingredients that are in non-acetone that will give the nail a little bit of moisture while removing your polish and using pure acetone is gonna leave the nail plate dry. So does this mean that you can soak your nails off in nail polish removal? So I said, let's put this to the test. I used two nails from the mannequin hand that are identically the same and I poured a little bit of pure acetone in one container and non-acetone in the other container and I dropped both those nails in and let them sit and soak to see what happens. After 40 minutes, we can see both are starting to dissolve, but even the non-acetone looks like it's working quicker or just as quick as the acetone one. At the 60 minute mark, we can see they are both still dissolving. Again, the non-acetone one is surprisingly shocking all of us and dissolving just as quick as the acetone nail. So I decided to take them both out and give them a little bit of scraping to speed up the process. This is the acetone nail and I'm gonna just scrape it off a little bit just so that we can see how much of that acrylic is actually dissolving. And here is the one that was soaking in non-acetone. So let's scrape that off as well and see how much has dissolved off that nail. At this point, I just threw them both back into their containers just to soak for a little bit longer. After 90 minutes of soaking, we can see how both of the acrylics are dissolving from both nails. This was the final look. And it just goes to show, if you didn't already know, non-acetone and pure acetone are the same thing. And you can soak your nails off in nail polish remover if you don't have acetone.